Hello everyone, welcome back to Neil Kills Gaming. We're back with some more Immortals, Phoenix Rising. And today we are going to be doing quite a few quests here to get the second blessing um, in the Forge Lands, Hephaestus' blessing. First we're going to start with the Light My Fire quest. Then we'll do Fan Service. And then Churned On. And then there will be a, another quest in the center here to complete it to get the, final ble or the second blessing. And we'll be stopping once we unlock this vault here. So uh, I'll leave timestamps in the description below if you need to uh, skip forward to any of these specific quests or parts here. I will also fast forward all this uh, fighting I'm going to be doing just to make that a little quicker so the whole time you're not just watching me fight. Alright, so after defeating that first batch of enemies here, we gotta clear all this corruption and stuff around. Alright, and then you'll see at a lot of the furnaces here, you'll see these coals here. We're just gonna toss one in. Fire just like that. He's not all that. All right, for the second one up here, which is now in the top right corner here, we actually do not have any of the coals. So now that we cleared all the enemies out, we're going to run back to the one that we just did. And we can either just take another coal, or you can even take the one that's on fire that's in there. Because once they're lit, they stay lit. Hmm, so we're just going to toss that in there. And the same thing. That's two. Here we are at the third one. And again, we're just gonna take one of the coals. Alright, for this one, now that we threw that in there, we just seem to pull the lever. We'll go back up here, it'll be a little easier of a shot. Alright, that is the uh, end of that quest line there, now we're going to go move on over to fan service 
All right, now that we're over here, I accidentally already activated one of these fans here. As you can see, there's a pedestal in the middle here with some mobs here. But uh, all you have to do is just clear those mobs out and then hit the pedestal, and that will be it for the first one. So we're just going to go ahead and skip right to the second one. And I'll fast forward the fight quick. Alright, now that that's all cleared out, I'm just going to smash this corruption up here. You'll see a little block that we're going to put here. Alright, then for this one, again, one that really comes in handy if you have heavy lifting. Then you can just pick up these blocks and... Oops. Hopefully hold on to them. Alright, then that's it for fan service. That is both events. Now the last section of this, uh, before we go to the center anyway, is this part. So, we'll go ahead and fast forward to there. Okay, here we are at the first wheel. And all we have to do is smash this corruption. If you stay away from him far enough, you won't have to fight him at all. Alright, that's the first two wheels block. We'll fast forward over to the third one now. Alright, here we are at the third one, and we can kind of ignore all the fighting here. Alright, once they're done talking, you get an update to the quest here, and our next quest is shaken to the core, so we'll... Go on and head over there now. Alright, this part is easy enough here. We're just gonna pull the lever. And you have three torches to light. Take that coal. And now we're lighting this side of the forge. This symbol means fire. Makes sense for a forge. And that one could be a hammer. Hephaestus has the mightiest hammer ever crafted. Alright, for this next part, I just played around with it a little bit, and uh, I'm not sure if it does tell you anywhere where... 
Alright, for this next part, I just played around with it a little bit. I'm not sure if it does tell you the right symbols anywhere at all. I didn't get that far into it. But on the right side, it's those two. And then on the left side, it's the middle one. Is the statue outside. These are some kind of clue. For my next piece, I see... Hephaestus, you're here! It's like the forge was calling me. I couldn't ignore it. About that, I cleared the vents, started the fires, and got the water wheels moving. Even unlocked some strange glyphs inside, but nothing happened. Well, I was talking to my friends as well as, and they said they're the key to restarting it. They have to touch things. Now we're talking, Zeus. This place is ancient. They say you built this entire fort yourself. Me? But it's so grim, so dirty, and that lighting. You're okay. What is this? Such pain in this market. Sorrow? Suffering? Real art. I'd say you were trying to leave us a message. Me? How mixed media? I think past you left a clue to recover your memory. Something Typhon couldn't decipher. Can you read any of it? Incomplete. Hephaestus, you genius! It is missing a piece. Now, where did I put it? This isn't your signature, Hephaestus. It's the rest of the puzzle. Hammer, a forge's fire, the statue, and this box. Do you know what this is? Of course, he did not know what it was, but in their possession was Pandora's box. You dare to open this again? Chaining you to this rock was your justice for giving fire to mortals. Pandora's box was the mortals' justice. 
So you forced your son Hephaestus to forge a box capable of unleashing every conceivable evil upon them? That's justice? Hephaestus was happy to oblige. He knew what he was doing. He did what he was ordered to do after you tortured him for his entire existence. Don't you talk about my son! Pandora acted with innocent curiosity by opening that box. You acted with vile contempt! I gave them a warning, and look what happened! Mortals rummaged and defiled their world and each other. Clearly, the warning was not enough. It's finished now. They are stone, and Pandora's box was the beginning of the end. So, first, we need a hammer. Check. Where did you... Never mind. I think past you is telling us we need to imbue that hammer with the power of the forge's fire. Then, break through here. That is so me. If I'm reading this right, your essence is underneath. But that's not all. I told you what this is. That would be a box. No. Well, yes. But also, it used to contain every kind of suffering. Enough suffering to fill the world. And you suffered, Hephaestus. A lot. Cast from Mount Olympus. Rejected. Alone. No matter how generous you were, no matter how hard-working, every god rejected you. Just because you were different. This box is the final clue. I think Typhon stole your suffering, and that's why you lost your memories. So, to get my memories, to get my talent back... I mean feeling the pain that's been locked away. Go! Despite the extreme heat, Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. Prometheus, this is pushing it. No human could dream of holding that hammer. Or holding your lightning. And yet, absorbing the power of the flames, the hammer came alive. And with it, Phoenix released the second of Hephaestus' blessings. With the hammer revived, and Hephaestus is suffering trapped below. All Phoenix had to do now was jump. All right, now we have the second blessing. When we come back next time for tomorrow night, we will be doing the vault and how to get the essence. Hopefully that helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you leave a like on the video and uh, consider subscribing so that way you don't miss tomorrow's video on how to get the essence. Alright everyone, hope to see you next time. Have a good one everyone.